We've created like a world-class laboratory. I have collaborations with uh, uh, the chair of the chemistry department, the chair of the chemical engineering department at MIT, and they're very envious of the resources that we have here. These are very unique. If you look at the Massey Cancer Center, uh, one of the things that they've been very interested in over the last several years is getting access to new drugs, not looking at reformulation of old drugs. And that's a very difficult thing to do because most of the pharmaceutical companies are, are, have access to the, are, are making these drugs for development activities, but are, are reluctant to be able to share those materials with organizations that want to do research on their own. And the interesting thing is that that most of the structures of those molecules are, are in the public domain. What we're doing is we're working with Massey to be able to synthesize those molecules knowing what they are so that they can have direct access to them and be able to do work, cutting edge work on new technologies and new therapies that they normally wouldn't have access to if, if uh, they, they weren't partnering with us. Our job here, we're trying to stay laser focused on this is to develop the processes to make the drugs and then share them with the general public so that they can make them more efficiently. Our, our approach was very simple and very basic. We sat down with, with some of the leaders in the Cancer Center and asked, what do you need? So as Medicines for All was taking off and Frank wanted to find ways to expand it to work more inside the university in other ways, uh, I suggested to him a collaboration with Massey, and it was coupling Frank's kind of synthesis powerhouse with Massey's oncology research powerhouse uh, and trying to develop a, a, a nice way for Massey to have access to molecules they wouldn't otherwise have and develop new drugs for targets that Massey researchers are already working on. And that really plays into Massey's um, desire to want to become a comprehensive cancer center. So not only uh, can a chemist work on a, uh, on a process for, in a round bottom flask, but they can work with an engineer uh, shoulder to shoulder to develop a platform to make these things really uh, efficiently. The investments that the university has made and the investments that the Gates Foundation made were kind of uniquely poised to be able to, to do a lot of really uh, innovative new science that's going to help to drive down the cost of, of uh, health care, particularly global health care. For one of the current projects we're doing, we're actually completely redoing the synthesis that's in the literature because it was a really long and low yielding synthesis and we've basically completely re-engineered the route and made it high yielding and short because we know we need to make 10 plus grams for animal studies and probably more moving forward. Most pharmaceutical processes generate a huge amount of waste. Uh, typically to generate one kilogram of, a, of the active ingredient for a drug, you generate several hundred kilograms of waste. And we took a process that was actually pretty good. It, was, it generated about 60 kilograms of waste in the old process. The new process only generated four. But I think the best thing we can do here at VCU for the next 5, 10, 15 years is establish the, the process and the infrastructure to be able to take the world-class oncology research that's going on in Massey and be able to actually develop therapeutics that utilizes the, the knowledge and the molecular targets from that research to try and treat cancer. <laughs>